definitely keep putting money back in to your trading account. Isn't that a nice point to get to? There's a few guys in the room that have achieved it. So there's no reason, there's no excuse for not achieving it. It's just about the application of the knowledge, isn't it, at the end of the day? It's just about the application of the knowledge. Know your game. Know what game you're good at. Know where your weaknesses are. Sometimes it's frustrating for me as a teacher to see a trade going by and some people aren't on board the trade, but I also accept and I understand that not everybody trades the same way as I trade. Perhaps you need better value than I need because I'm more probably more active. I mean, and during a trading day, I'll maybe do 200, 300, 400, 500 trades, individual trades, not you know, as part of groups of trades at times, I'll maybe do 500 odd trades, right? You guys might not want to do 500 trades on a five lot, and that's two and a half thousand contracts a day that you're turning over. Maybe that's way too much for you. And I accept and understand that for a lot of people, the way I trade isn't exactly the same way as what you're going to be trading, but you've got to try and get your head around what kind of trader you are, what kind of person are you. And you're trading. We're just coming into the oil now, guys. Just coming into the oil. Um, you've got to get your head round what kind of trader you are and try and figure out what the business end is in your trading. What are you trying to see? I'll just bring the oil across quickly, guys. Here it is here. It's uh, liquidity is at 48.50s. You can see the price driving up towards that. There was a very, very little liquidity below the bottom edge here. Look, absolutely empty liquidity levels below us here. So very, very limited in terms of what the uh, oil has available in this balance area here. So now uh, the only liquidity that was visible was 4850s. It's uh, you know not going to give us much to work with in that type of environment, is it? So uh, nothing much for us on oil, I'm afraid. No fair value reads. No fair value reads before the oil took off. One-sided, one-sided only, 4850s. You've got to try and put together the arsenal of tools that you're going to be using in your day-to-day -day trading as well. You've got to try and think about what it is that you like and think about whether you've got the necessary tools to be successful in that area, whatever it is. If you're going to trade very short-term swings, very short-term scalps, at least you know what you're supposed to be looking for. At least you know what tools to start investing in if you need to invest in a new toolbox. These are all very, very important questions you need to answer yourself as traders going forward into 2021. There's a lot of money to be made, guys, a lot of money. And as people start uh, suffering because of lockdowns and businesses going out of business and so on, being a trader has got to appeal to an awful lot of people. Now, it's not a road to riches, the shortcut to riches that a lot of people think it is. But it's one of those things that if you do apply your skills, you should at least alert, uh, 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 enable yourself to get to an ability that means you can consistently take cash out of a market. Whether it's $1,000 a month, whether it's a $500 a month, whether it's 50 grand a month, whether it's $5 million a month, trading allows you to go to that point. There's very, very, very few other occupations that allow you to do that, guys. Very few. And the thing is, in this room, same as going into a basketball, and you know, same as basketball, and everybody that's playing basketball has the same head coach, right? Everybody that's on the Oklahoma Sooners basketball team has the same head coach. Some of the players are good. Some of the players are not so good. Some of the players get benched. Some of the, people, some of the players move on to do a different athletics program altogether because they're terrible. It's the same head coach, it's the same classroom sessions, it's the same information, it's the same court, it's the same strip. They've all got the same access to the same, um, the same basketball nets, the same gym equipment. The difference is some people are going to be good, some people are going to be average, 
Some people are going to be crap. Sometimes that's what happens in trading as well, right? You've all got access to the same information. You've all got access to the same tools, pretty much. You've all got access to the same setups, same markets, same margins, same bid offer spreads. Some of you are going to be successful. Some of you are going to be incredibly successful. Some of you just won't be able to make any money at it, regardless. And you're going to move on to a different program. You're going to move on to a different program in due course. You might even find a teacher that works for you better, a system that maybe works for you better in trading. That's not a reflection on me. It's a reflection on you as a trader. Some traders don't like the way that we trade, the commercial aspect of trading. They only like the prop aspect and therefore they want to focus on prop and they want to trade momentum shifts. You know, once you start identifying the kind of trader you are, you can start focusing on the tools that you need to be the best trader that way possible. And if you find that it's not to your satisfaction or your enjoyment, you can always change it. You've not married a style at the end of the day. You've not married the fact that you're trading like a prop, for example. You can change it to go back into maybe trying to be a better commercial trader, in which case you change your tools, you change access to which lines are better for you, which levels start working on some of these ideas as well. At the end of the day, it's your choice. You choose which way you want to take your trading. And obviously, we're here to support you in the best way we possibly can do by giving you the necessary ideas that help to develop those ideas, whether it's a bigger, longer term swing or whether it's a shorter term, one minute chart, five second chart even. It's a choice you've got to make. The point is you've got to make that choice. You can't have it all. You can't trade 10 markets simultaneously. You can't have 10 markets simultaneously running on 20 different screens and expect to be great at all of them. I'm not. The number of trades I miss on oil, for example, because oil is like market number three or four for me in terms of priority. My priority is to make sure I don't miss any bond trades and then and then into the equity markets and then into the forex markets for the pound and then into the oil markets eventually. So I do miss a lot of oil trades. You've got to try and figure out what markets are the best markets for you guys. You know, you've got to try and understand that a lot of trading is is literally very, very close to where you're at at the moment. And it could be one tiny, tiny little change. That's all it takes sometimes, guys. It's one tiny little change. And when you see the tiny little change evolving into what is an opportunity, well, that's sure you're ready to go, right? You're millimeters away from getting a great trade outcome, millimeters away from getting a great trade. I've just bought some S&P. Uh, we had some uh, buyers coming in on the um, we had some buyers coming in on the uh, on the prem. I started to see a very large volume down candle into the bottom edge here. I started to bid into that bottom edge here. I started to pay some 30 quarter 30 halves to get some long S&P into this trade here. And uh, we've had a reasonable response to that buy trade. There was my buy trade there, 30 quarter, 30 halves. And we got a reasonable response, not a great response, but a reasonable response to it. And uh, with the buy programs kicking off, I thought we were going to get a better response, to be perfectly honest, but it is what it is. I didn't lose money. And um, easily able to get a stop and a break even, right? Well, that's it. Uh, that's it, Murray. I mean, it's um. I mean, at school I was great at physics, but I had a teacher that I just didn't get on with, and um, because of that, my grades started to suffer a little bit, and I had to do an awful lot of physics at home. I had to start uh, getting some tutoring at home so that I didn't start falling off the. Um, falling off the the, uh, the uh, kind of grades that I was expecting to get, because my original idea was to become an astronomer when I was at school. My first thoughts when I was at, going into uh, like first year at school was to become an astronomer or something to do with uh, astrophysics of some description. So when I was like 11s, 12s, 
that was my passion. That's where I was, that's where I thought I was destined to go into was astrophysics of some description. Um, but because of this one teacher, I started to, I started to drift away from that, and uh, and it was starting to cause a question mark to start showing up in my uh, in, in my direction the way that I was hoping. And as I said, I started to do some more uh, classes, but it had already started to set in that little bit of doubt in my mind that I was going to do astrophysics in, in due course. I was going to become a, an astronomer in due course of some description or a, or a theoretical physicist. And I stopped at that stage. I stopped having that passion that I needed to take it to that, uh, to that level. And, um, you know, and it can happen. You know, it was one single teacher that did that to me. I'm sure there's probably several hundreds of people that have came into this course or have subsequently left this course that found the same from my own teachings. They just didn't like the way I taught. They didn't like the the approach. They didn't like the ideas. They didn't like the processes. And that's it's not right for everybody, is it? Some people think I'm crude. Some people think I'm rude. You know, it's, it's everybody's got a different opinion about different things, haven't they? Some people think it's funny. Some people think it's uh, it's crass. Some people think it's whatever. But it is what it is. It is just always what it is. It's never going to be anything other than that. But you've got to choose. You've got to make those choices for yourself about what it is you like. You've got to make those choices about what it is you like and how you respond to certain ideas and certain thoughts. And it's up to you whether you want to change the direction of your whole life if you want to take it from trading point of view. But you've also got to think about your simple things like the software that you're using. Is the software causing you to be frustrated a lot of the times about certain trades? Are you getting pissed off that you're not seeing the trade in time? Are you starting to think that you need to go down a couple of time frames? You've got to have that conversation with yourself, haven't you? You've ultimately got to have that conversation with yourself and try and figure out what the answers are, because these are very, very important answers to come up with. Well, Paul, maybe I don't know what your age is, but maybe you're old enough that it was Sir Isaac Newton. I don't know, perhaps, you know what I mean? You might be as as old as me. So there's a very good chance that it might have been. <laughs> 